y'all know I'm always doing something adventurous and I've always wanted to be that person that, you know, at the end of my life, I want to be able to say anything I wanted to experience or try, like I had the courage and the confidence to just do that. So I'm here in Georgia and uh, I'm casting for an extra on BMF, the TV show. And I came across it on Facebook and they were casting for Sorors. And I was like, let me just shoot my chance. Like, so I shot my chance, sent my information over to the email and got casted for a Freaknik Soror on BMF. So I'm here at the COVID testing site because I had to get a COVID test. Um, don't shoot until June 13th, 2022, obviously, but I came up yesterday my sister and I and so we're I'm here I am here to get a COVID test and I'm super excited um to see how this whole experience goes because this is my first time ever doing something like this so um I didn't get in Georgia until like one something got up at seven um, to get here because they're stopping testing at 9 p.m. I mean 9 a.m. sharp. So Yeah, super excited. Okay, gotta go All right, so just finished getting my COVID test glad I got here when I did because the line is getting super long and Yeah so, done with that check. Honestly, about to go back to sleep because I am tired. India. What are we doing, Drea? We're shopping for a freak meet. You're rolling up for a kid like me. Two to three freak meets. Good Wheels Roundup campaign. Help one family with a scholarship to the learning program. 1989. Because my insurance wouldn't pay with their budget. Thankfully, with the support of Good Wheels customers like you, he's able to receive therapy sessions. We're vlogging. Don't mind us. Thank you for rounding up at the register. Sister helping me pick out accessories. Who you need? Let me make sure I don't need a zipper. We're buying accessories. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the hair store. <laughs> Trying to really nail this 1988 look. And the thing is, they don't really have pictures of it either. Yeah. They like live in the moment. This will be our last stop here and then we'll go with you. A big man. Don't we? It's okay. Because we can dress it up real nice. We do this. We does this actually. It's so close. Oh, but it's so close. We're on the road again. Mm -hmm. Where are we going, Alexis? To Atlanta. What are we going for, Drea? Andrea is casting as a Freaknik Soror background extra on season two of BMF. Period. Period. So, exciting! <laughs> <laughs> Super exciting. This is my first opportunity to cast as an extra. So, you know, I'm always trying my hands at something because at the end of my life, I want to be able to say I did everything that I wanted to do because I wanted to do it and experience it. So, mm -hmm. I don't want to leave life with nothing unexperienced or nothing not experienced yeah amen so come roll <laughs> down with me she always with the crabs with me so I'm trying to get this pg-13 yes but um yeah she with me so we on the road again i'm driving of course and of course she's gonna watch her tv show of course spoiled 
That's okay. Cause I'm just here for support. Yeah, she's she's and definitely doing that. Keep the got, looks together. Yeah, let no. You need to tell them about the outfit thing. <laughs> I'll let you tell them. About okay. It. So we've been waiting to see if they were going to provide the outfits. Cause what's the theme? Freak Neek '89. Mm -hmm. Right. So she just found out information. They give out information bit by bit. It's a little take for you inside school. So we were waiting to see like if they were going to provide the outfits. That's kind of what the, the impression that we were under. They were going to provide the outfits because they didn't say anything. Then today she gets a, what was a text? An email. An uh, email with all of these thing requirements. You can't have no weave. You can't have this. You can't have that. Just a lot. And we have to go find the outfit. Two to three outfits. Two, yeah. Day. Two to three outfits at that. And if they don't like it, you won't be on the screen. No, no, no. You'll be on the screen. They'll you won't be on the screen. Like, yeah, they're gonna cut you off. They'll all like they will provide like they will change your look because they have stuff on set, but they still want you to bring like your own stuff. And then if there's any like tweaks or stuff that needs to happen, they'll do it. So they just want you to come with like your own thoughts and ideas. And then if it's like you need more or less, they'll adjust from there. So. It won't just cut you unless you just completely you disregard it. You get less it. screen time. I don't care what nobody's saying. You're going to get less screen time. But I've been told it's going to be a long day it's tomorrow. So miles. obviously, I'm going to document to how road. this entire process goes because this is my first time. But I do have good resources and good advice. So shout out to people in my circle that help me out. Alright, let me focus on this drive because yeah, we should be vlogging and driving. Mm -hmm. Andrea's out. Looking at the road. Well, yep, we'll catch up with you when we get to Atlanta. Ah, exciting. See you soon, Georgia. Jesus. Got us some press on nails. <laughs> so, we in Atlanta. And we decided to get some food from, I was in that shop, but we decided to get some food from Hudson Grill. She got my nerves. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and she done ordered some spinach dip. It's so good. Food make you happy. And I ordered some sweet potato fries. So we're gonna get on. Got the ideas for the look for tomorrow. So we just gotta go put them together. Do my hair. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> We're gonna attempt the roller set. We'll keep y'all updated on it. I don't know how to schedule that's gonna go, but we're gonna try. And then, um, I'm gonna get ready for the morning. So that's just that. But right now I'm pretty heat. So mm -hmm. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> All the looks that we thought of for 1988-1989 on the bed laid out. So we're going to put the pieces together and figure this out. Well, my sister's going to put it together and we're going to figure this out. Come on, Alexis. Janae. All right, because the scene that I am shooting is in 1988-1989. I have that type of hairstyle. So I just took my twist out. And my sister said this would have been a good twist out, but we're gonna destroy it because we got a roller set my hair and try to get it to cooperate into a hairstyle from back then. And so this is gonna be really interesting. So we are going to roller set it and I'm gonna leave it in until I get on set tomorrow and I'm gonna let them style it because <laughs> We don't have time and we're tired. So, <sighs> wish us luck. So we're gonna get started. We are attempting. Girl, you did not. I didn't get it all. No. A roller set. I just took my twist out. So this is gonna be super interesting because we ain't never did this before. So we're experimenting, but we gotta get my hair to cooperate to a style that was worn back then.
back in 1988. So, um, we're gonna test this out. We are destroying a perfectly good twist out, mm. but for good reasons. We are super tired and you can see. What is going on? <laughs> I just see my head bobbing and weaving and like I can see but it ain't clear I don't see like the lady on Grey's Anatomy said I don't see the leaves what, <laughs> what? do you not remember the episode of Grey's Anatomy where no. she like when Callie was dating the doctor cardio the female cardiologist and she said I don't know and after her and Callie I think they either like hooked up that night or they kissed that next morning, she was like, all my life, I used to see, um, when I would look out the window, I would see blobs. And when I got glasses, I realized the blobs that I was seeing were leaves. And she was like, that's what you were for me. Oh, my gosh. I think I remember that episode. I think I do. Callie like scared Callie half to death. And Callie, like, made question, Callie questioned whether or not she was really bisexual or okay so hey Drea they shaking Drea don't grab it so aggressive should we use some gel heck no well what product can we use oh yeah that's not gonna give I don't know. Okay, we are people. We gotta go watch this. <laughs> it's film day. And I'm just getting myself together. Super excited to see how this whole entertainment industry works on the back end of things. Like I've been trying to get in on the admin side of things. So I'm super excited to see what it's like. And this other video is super tiny, but it's just me on the elevator. So yeah, I'm super excited. So it's gonna be a long day. So yeah, it is five o'clock in the morning. We're gonna get this day started. I didn't use necessary. I'll keep you guys updated. And since we're downtown Georgia, I am walking to the garage so I can get to the car and I feel dropped, so it looks like it's gonna be a rainy day. Um yeah, but I'm super excited. This is my view. I'm just gonna walk up, get my stuff in the car. I have everything, I'm pretty sure. If not, hopefully they got it on set. Hopefully they can tame this hair because my sister and I, we could not figure it out. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna pray for the best and keep it moving. So when I mentioned how excited I am, to be doing this. Wow. All right, I'm out. I'm driving to set. All right, guys. To the park. People are arriving. Thank you. 
I, I, yeah. <laughs> I was vlogging this. This is my first time doing background, so I've been vlog, like vlogging it. Oh, for sure. After getting my hair done. I already went through makeup. Talking to the camera. Telling them what we're doing. Yes, ma'am. It's 1988. <laughs> I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> At all. Yes. My dad graduated high school in 1989. So, yeah. <laughs> So I am showered, got a tan line. My feet is killing me. My sister say my ankle swollen. I'm in bed and I'm watching the game. And let me turn this down because I don't want you two to be tripping. Suck about I got people in music. Let me do that real quick. But I'm so glad to be laying down and resting because this has been a day very exciting, very fulfilling, very rewarding, very inspiring day. But it has been a day and I am so glad to be showered and have all that sweat and just uh, off me. 
And now I'm watching the game five of the finals. With my sister dear. I ate dinner. Trying to talk to her and going to give me something to drink. Cause my feet hurt. I cannot walk. But we'll see how that goes. But I'm so excited I did this, y'all. I'm so excited to see the outcome and what they use in the final product. But my sister came up with her new word and it's fearless. And I did that today. Ain't it right? Now it's her turn. I'm gonna get this thing in motion. But anyways, good night, cause I'm gone. They think of honeys, horny dudes, and hip hop. But it wasn't always like that. Freaknik started as a picnic for students at the AU Center who couldn't go home. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.